uh, remove the previous version from the computer and you can install the second one. As this, we are more uh, working on a daily basis on it to improve it so that it can even better suit your purposes. Now, the tool itself looks a little bit like this. You have <clears throat> some, some main sections, I would say, which would be the following. This is the section where you put the, the, the data. This is the section where you have all the, the results visible. This is a navigation, a very simple and uh, navigation uh, um, option, which means you can go one step further or uh, uh, one step back. And here, first you have the menu, and this part of the menu here that you can see, it can be also ac uh, uh, access, and you can uh, do the same things from the menu, but you can do also the same things with this fast navigation because we try to give uh, a very easy access to it so it doesn't become too complicated uh, of a tool. So to allow to everybody to have a very, a very easy access and some, some uh, results based on it. Let's go one step further and this is the design which this is the situation for which uh, i made a simulation <clears throat> so you can see this is a three-story building which is oriented north to south uh, it's a residential building it is situated in astana as i told you it has three floors it's a north and south oriented the volume of the building is 10 by 10 by 9 meter and just for the simulation, I have put it on the south facade, one, two, three windows, which are, okay, could have been of any other dimension, but I put the dimension on 1.5 meter by three meter. Is this clear up to now? So please uh, communicate with me a little bit also. Let me know if you can hear me. Because, uh, as I told you, we might have some some uh, issues uh, with the uh, connectivity. So, okay, so far so good. Thank you. So, there are basically about uh, ten steps into this simulation. Yeah? So, I, as I told you, it is not uh, uh, very complicated. First thing, this is the uh, the. Uh, First, uh, first screen that you will see. I will try to big it, to make it bigger. Okay. So, project data. Uh, I'm putting here the project data. In this case, the object it is called test Gabriel Golumbano. That's my name. And here, it is a very important point. You are selecting the location of the object. I have selected Kazakhstan. The selection of this of the country determines here what kind of climate you are going to select to have access so if i select kazakhstan then you are having access to two types of uh, uh, climate in in kazakhstan one is astana the other one is almaty in this case we have selected astana then the type of construction, this is very simple, it's a new building, and then the usage of the uh, uh, construction, it's residential, and of course, if it's residential, it's for living. The moment that all of these data are selected, the data that the program requires, because the others are more or less uh, 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 facultative, you will see here a small button that turns green and also this one here turns green otherwise the button it's red like this one here so i have put in project data i have then area input some information about the opac elements windows quality shading hvc heat and overheating and this is basically all the steps that i have to look a little bit on it and to get some kind of result to see in which I am moving. Then <clears throat> I go 
further, now I'm entering into the input of the area. And I am playing here with the input of the area of the heated envelope. So if I'm having some kind of space which is not part of the heating environment, which is if you want some kind of I don't know, uh, 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 um, let's say a garage, garage, which is linked to the main building, yeah, which could be situated, uh, let's say, I would have some kind of a garage here, like this. Yeah? But this garage, it's not heated. Then I'm not interested to simulate it because I'm not heating it, therefore I'm not uh, 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 taking it under consideration. If, however, this gauge would be inside the heated envelope, so then I'm heating it to 22 degrees and so on, then I have to take it into account. Yeah? Is this up to now clear? Okay, so I would say that this is a very simple, uh, this is a very simple matrix, meaning heated space area. In my case, I have put it in three times because I have three levels and I have uh, uh, the surface and this gives me the uh, sum of the living area. So this is the area in which I'm going to live. I'm putting it in. Then I have a second option about the uh, about the uh, heated space volume and in this heated space volume I am putting my information about the volumes. I can define one volume as such, you can put only one or you can see I have defined three volumes because I have three floors. This is, allows a little bit of flexibility to play if you have on one floor let's say uh, you have a, a volume which is not linked to the residential space. So then you can develop, uh, uh, define it as such. Then uh, there is the third, uh, third part, which I believe I should have had. Yes, well, it's a little bit down uh, on the on uh, uh, this presentation. This is the part where I have to define my OPEC elements and it seems that uh, I uh, jumped this, uh, this, uh, I forgot to put in better, a better image of this, uh, this part. In the OPEC element, I will, I will uh, correct this in a few moments. In the OPEC elements, I have to uh, play and define exactly what type of construction I have. So, uh, first of all, you will see wall against air. And if I have walls, uh, wall against air, I put four of them because I have four walls. And these four walls uh, that, uh, that I have uh, uh, defined, I define them by the length and by their uh, height. And then I select for them uh, an orientation. I will ask for one minute from your one minute just to make a print screen. So just allow me this. Okay. Okay, will be another 10 seconds. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. So I will uh, share. Uh, Ilian, I would like to open uh, image. So I will send you Ilian. I will send you this uh, picture that you can uh, upload, please. Okay, so uh, I have sent the oops, I have sent the the image to Ilian, so we should have it in few in few moments. Okay, so coming back. This will allow me to introduce my uh, my uh, and to define my uh, um, envelope in such a way that I can control the different elements of the envelope. And the most important thing for the uh, development of the for the uh, definition of the envelope will be in case of the world the selection that you have to do related to the orientation, because each you will be asked to, to specify a certain uh, orientation for each part of, of this uh, uh, of this one. Okay. So, um, presentation from computer. Um, Details. Okay, so you can see here, even uh, you can see it here better. So I have walls against air, then I have uh, slabs, and uh, uh, the last one will be uh, the roof. Actually, there are several options that you can have. You have walls against air, walls against ground, pitch roof, roof flat, slab against ground, and so on. And basically, here I'm defining my my um, envelope. So what I did, I put it four walls against the air. I have defined and introduced the surface, the exterior surface of the envelope for these walls. And I've said very simple that the orientation of these four walls, which are basically similar to what we have in uh, uh, in our design, it's north. So you put for north zero, you put for east ninety. You can see here the the uh, directions. You put for south one hundred and eighty degrees, and basically for west it would be two hundred and seventy. So basically, this is. Uh, based on the geometrical orientation, how much is the deviation from the direction north of that wall? If I have a wall which is or oriented towards north, then the deviation from north would be zero. If I have a wall which is oriented northeast, then the deviation would be 45, and so on. It's basically a geometrical watch which you can take into account. Then if I define it my, my wall, so basically I have the four walls, then I need to define a flat roof. As you can see, I have selected a flat roof, and then I also have to define some kind of uh, slab, and I am defining a slab against ground, which you can see here, all of them inserted. So this would be basically the six parts creating my envelope. If you are having a more complicated envelope, of course you can go to a more detailed work. It is up to you to decide what level of detail you want to go. If you have, I don't know, some kind of, uh, let's say, if you have some kind of design in which instead of uh, a standard, uh, I don't know, uh, 
construction you have perhaps something like this yeah? this would you can consider these two as a two separate walls and then define them as such or you can say okay i will approximate it to only one which is oriented like this and you obtain basically the same uh, the same uh, uh, more or less the same uh, result again depending on how deep you go with the simulation the correctness of the of the result will be closer or further but this can be uh, uh, up to you to uh, to decide then once you have designed the opac elements of course we need to define some kind of windows and you can see here i have put it three windows it is very simple because you have here the button add new window or delete uh, a window i have defined it the three windows which we have here yeah i have one two three windows which i have defined and this is very important they are attached to a certain element of the envelope this is important because it allows to calculate uh, i will come to you in a second uh, andrea uh, this is uh, um, uh, this allows you to calculate or allows to the software to calculate how much uh, uh, of the heat gains you uh, uh, you have from that part just coming back to uh, uh, Andrea's question, what about curve walls? Well, actually, we do not have curve walls into the, the tool because then it would be even more complicated. What you can do is, of course, you can approximate them. This is very simple. You can approximate them to a straight wall and then you have, uh, uh, you have your simple uh, uh, answer. So, okay, good. Of course, I could have done instead of because if I don't really want to lose the the time to to have a very clear uh, simulation, I could have said, okay, uh, what I have here, I have one, two, three windows. Okay, uh, they are all the same because I'm not going to use different glazing on this, and I define only one window. But by defining them individually, then further on, when the, I will reach to this point, I can select. To, I can say, okay, on this part of the windows or only on these windows, I will have a better glazing or lower glazing. It uh, allows me the flexibility to play, uh, to play with it. And then, uh, uh, last but not uh, least, you have here, okay, the, my print screen was not good enough. The last one is uh, it's a solid door which looks exactly like, uh, the, the menu looks exactly like the window and Okay, we define a door, and that door it is also attached to a wall. And from this point of view, I have finished my envelope. This is, if you want, for this simulation, I don't know, it takes maybe two minutes or three minutes to put it in. These are basically the 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 first data with which the the tool acts. Is this? part clear or do you have any question on the part of the OPEC uh, elements? First of all, if you still can hear me. <laughs> 